do with this time? I go for mine, I get to shine. Now throw your hands up in the sky. Hello guys, this is another tutorial. Um, well, I don't know if it's really tutorial. I'm just showing you guys some tricks. Okay, I've made a few videos today, so I hope you guys like them. Okay, this one is Windows XP tricks. Tricks you can do, not really like to trick your friends, but just some cool things you can do. Okay, okay. First, what you want to do is you go to Run and you type in Notepad, or you can find it in your Start menu and let me make this bigger then you type in message box msg box then you space quotation marks then you type in what you want the message to be so let's see here i'll type in hello youtube hope you guys like the video okay then then you put quotation marks comma twenty comma quotation marks and you what the title is so I'll put YouTube Whoops. YouTube and then quotation marks YouTube rocks quotation marks then you go to file save as and then you can name it whatever you want I'll name it YouTube and then make sure at the end it has dot VBS okay so you save it and then you should have got something that looks like this. So when you click on it, here it is. Title right up here, YouTube Rocks. And then right here is the message. Hello YouTube, hope you guys like the video. Okay? I just think that it's kind of cool. Create your own window. Okay? So I'll put that in the trash. Now the next one is just going to be a lot of boxes that pop up like in error or something like that so you go to notepad again run notepad oh, there's the phone again okay and you type in start and you just k keep putting that below each one and then you can do as many as you want I'll do a few right here and so you can just copy it and then paste it there I did a lot of them right there you don't have to do that much you can just do some and then you go to file save as and once again you can name it whatever you want I'll name this one boxes and then you have to end it with dot b a t bat so you save that and you can minimize it then you should have got something like this and when you click on it whoa a lot of boxes pop up I like error or something wrong happens okay so <coughs> let me wait here all they come close out of it close group and now they're gone and here I'll get rid of this and if you were wondering I made the background with whoops Adobe Photoshop okay <clears throat> now this is a trick or a prank and you're gonna create a frozen desktop but first to get this you want icons on your desktop otherwise it's pointless so let me just get some icons on the desktop Oops. okay and you can move them around <coughs> put them wherever you want then you press the print screen key it's on your keyboard it should be in the top right and it says print screen then it has a line under it and it says SYSRQ so you press that once then 
you open up paint so you go to run ms paint and then it opens up then you press control v and there's your desktop so then you go to save as you can name it whatever you want I'll name it desktop and you can still save this on your desktop it's not gonna make a difference okay so here you go then you go to right click arrange icons by and then you uncheck show desktop icons it's gonna take a while but your icons are gonna go away this isn't gonna delete them it's just gonna make them invisible or you're not gonna be able to see them or anything okay so here now they're gone now what you wanna do is go to right click properties go to desktop and choose browse and then go to your desktop or wherever you saved it and click on it and then choose tile and there you click apply and okay and there you go that's what your desktop used to look like it has the icons there and click on them nothing happens alright so I click on Safari nothing happens so it's like frozen you can use the start menu or the start button but your icons are gonna be frozen and when you drag it the mouse you're not gonna get that box and so that's like freezing it okay and then to get it back just right click arrange icons by and then choose show desktop icons okay so now they're gonna work well there now they're gonna work okay but then you can change it back to the normal desktop so I'll just go find it up here hit apply okay and you can move them around do whatever you want so those are my three tricks uh... you can probably find more if you want but there you go hope you liked it and bye